Welcome to tonight's Five on Five. The guest is Dr. Philip Payton. Thank you so much for joining us. Glad to be here. And we're, it's a new year, and that means a lot of people with new resolutions, including diet, and specifically might people be looking into uh, what they know as a vegan diet. Tell us a little bit about uh, that diet. Well, my interest in the vegan diet started with my career in Medford, where I'm an ophthalmologist specializing in treatment of the complications of diabetes in the back of the eye and retinal vascular diseases, which go along with heart diseases and strokes. And for the first uh, 22 years of my career, I was treating the complications of these diseases, and I was absolutely unaware of how unnecessary these diseases are. And a patient actually asked me a simple question four years ago, have you read the China study? And I said, what's the China study? And he said, well, you're Mr. Prevention. Why on earth haven't you read the China study? So I promised him I'd read it. The China study is a book you should look into. It's 40 years of work by Colin Campbell at Cornell University. And based on his work and work of others like Esselstyn at the Cleveland Clinic, we now know what human beings should be eating. And the healthcare claims that I'm gonna make should sound utterly ridiculous. And I, I want you to look into this for yourself because uh, Esselstyn has shown at the Cleveland Clinic, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that by modifying diet uh, with no required exercise, no required stress reduction, uh, that uh, heart, heart disease can be prevented and reversed, and it can be reversed in the sickest heart patients. Cancers go down 90% with ideal diet, more than 95% in other diets. Heart attacks go down approximately 99% with an ideal diet. Quickly, you mentioned ideal diet. Let, give us some of the s specifics quickly that are in that ideal diet. Vegan is not good enough. Vegan is, uh, a vegan diet is talking about what you don't eat. And in a vegan diet, you don't eat meat or animal products like dairy and eggs. Uh, the ideal diet is, uh, in the words of Colin Campbell, whole foods from plants. And the whole foods, two words, are just as important as the from plants. And from plants, uh, uh, it does mean a big change over the, the standard diet that we've all consumed most of our lives in that it means, from plants means you don't eat meat and you don't eat eggs and you don't eat, eat dairy, seafood, uh, poultry, or anything else of animal origin. And that in itself is a huge change. But the whole foods are equally important because if you want the healthcare outcomes that are documentably present with the ideal diet, you have to eat whole foods. And that means one never dissociates the calories from the fibers and the micronutrients. And there goes some really uh, well-held uh, uh, notions about eating. Uh, you do not extract the oil from the plant. So on the ideal diet, you restrict or eliminate olive oil, fruit juices, white flour, white rice, white sugar, no refined foods. You eat the plants. Oh. Well, we'll dive into this just a little bit more, so stick around. We're 5 on 5 right after the break. Welcome back to the 5 on 5. The guest is Dr. Philip Payden. We've been talking about uh, a vegan diet, but the specifics that uh, a lot of people probably don't get in that uh, diet. Uh, give us, I mean, because it's very complicated, the books, where people can find more about this. Okay. Uh, the, 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 the China study was written by Colin Campbell from Cornell University, and probably the most important heart disease book ever written is uh, by Esselstyn from the Cleveland Clinic, and it's called Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease. We will put the book list on the KOBI 5 on 5 website uh, at my office, Peyton Eye Care on Stewart Avenue. The book lists uh, are free uh, to be handed out. There's an amazing documentary involving these two authors, uh, called Forks Over Knives. It's available on Netflix. It's uh, available uh, uh, for uh, rental at my office at a rental fee of zero. And uh, it explains this uh, uh, in much more detail than we can do in one minute. And quickly, when people try to get into this, would you recommend slowly or immediately starting New Year, go full force reading this stuff and getting into it? Type 2 diabetics and people with angina and they've failed their heart surgeries 
uh, need uh, to know that they're doing something right. And so the most effective way is to read it, understand it, and do it, and see a difference. Many other people phase into it. It doesn't matter how you do it. It matters that you do it. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate it. Certainly. That's it for the 515 More News right after the break.